Right then, the news is out there. The next season of Doctor Who to get the deluxe Blu-ray box set treatment as part of the Doctor Who The Collection collection will be season 26 which is the final ever series of classic Doctor Who so that's a bit special isn't it in this video I'm going to take a look at the packaging of this new box set the serials that lurk within and of course the long list of special features let's go Hello there you perky penguin, I'm Jason Arnold, the author of The Last Days of Jack Sparks, the imminent novel Ghoster and some Doctor Who stuff. If you haven't experienced this channel before, I'm coming back from a brief summer hiatus to do some more quacking all about retro stuff including VHS, 80s video games, horror movies and of course Doctor Who. So what do we all make of season 26 being the latest season of Doctor Who to come out on Blu-ray with a whole load of extras. Uh, personally, I'm pretty happy with it. I wouldn't pretend that season 26 is one of my all-time favourites, but they can't all be one of my all-time favourites, and there's plenty of strong stories in there, and also including a couple of quite horror-themed stories. So it's quite a gothic season, really. It's got some great monsters and some scary stuff. And, you know, that's good enough for me. Always good. As always, though, I want to hear your thoughts about season 26 and whether you're happy or sad that it's the latest one to get the Blu-ray treatment. Tell me in comments down below, for goodness sake. I am definitely a fan of uh, Sylvester McCoy as the Seventh Doctor. I think he, he had this unique kind of slapstick wacky quality to him which was very much and very crucially offset by this real sense of gravitas and mystery and and uh, being the most manipulative unexpectedly of all the doctors I think that's that's pretty cool I quite like that combination and the McCoy era has some great stories including of course Remembrance of the Daleks and Silver Nemesis which is my favorite I know a lot of people out there hate it but I don't I can't wait, to be honest, for Silver Nemesis to come out on Blu-ray, just to see the Cybermen even shinier than they looked on DVD. That's going to be a bit, a bit special, isn't it? I love those Cybermen. Earthshock Cybermen for the win. Anyway, sorry, back to Season 26, and let's take a look at the packaging of this new box set. Once again, put together by Lee Binding, who always does a fantastic job. And yeah, that looks really, really nice. Look at that front cover. The use of colour is so gorgeous on these box sets and so distinctive. I love the way that when put side by side, as we all will put them, being fans, the colours just look great. They look uniform and I really like the packaging. Uh, you know, the, the physical format of the packaging. I like the size of, of these box sets. They kind of feel, you know, they kind of feel like they match the expense of the, uh, of the thing. And of course, you know, by and large, the, the contents also match the expense of the thing. So it's a good deal all around, I reckon. Now, I always love the detail that Lee Binding puts into this particular part of his covers. So let's see how he's blended all these characters together. Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? You've got the Destroyer there and the Master and that weird guy from Ghostlight, whose name I can't quite remember. A couple of characters from Battlefield, including Morgana, and of course, a Hemovore from The Curse of Fenrir. We're gonna talk about each of these stories in detail some more next. And let's take a look inside. We've got this image here of all the discs kind of being on display. We can't see exactly what they all are. I can see some Hemovores there. There's Ace on one of the discs, and of course the TARDIS. And let's see, what else have we got here? Yeah, there's a nice image, kind of iconic image from uh, Survival. Personally, I'm not a big fan of Survival, I don't think. I do need to watch it again, but I'm not a huge fan of Survival, but I do like that image of the Doctor with his mad eyes about to bash the Master's brains in with a volcano in the background. That makes, that makes Survival look pretty cool, doesn't it? And just beneath that Survival image, we've got some other other images on those discs, the Doctor and Ace, the Brigadier there, tremendous. Yeah, it looks like another doozy to me. Of course, let me know what you think of it in comments, always. I want to hear from you. 
Let's move on then to the stories that are contained within this box set, or the serials if you want to be, you know, a bit pedantic about it. Now, Battlefield, here it is on the, uh, the old, or the old DVD release, is uh, a story that I've not revisited for quite a while. But I can remember enjoying it, and uh, it's, I can remember it as being quite an epic and ambitious tale, and it's got the destroyer in it, this great big blue demonic beast, so obviously I'm going to approve of that. And it's got the brigadier in it, so literally, what is there not to like? Now this Blu-ray set also, we'll, we'll get to special features properly in a minute, but I'd, I'd be remiss if I didn't point out that, that this new Blu-ray set contains both the VHS Extended Edition and the DVD Special Editions of Battlefield. So even though there are only four serials in this set, there are seven discs, so the coverage is pretty damn good. So yeah, I can't remember too much about Battlefield to be honest, uh, tell me what you think of it down there, please. But it's definitely one of those stories that I'm really looking forward to going back and seeing in this kind of deluxe uh, HD version. So next up on the box set is Ghost Light, which is a really interesting story. A very kind of obtuse <laughs> and obscure and um, hard to follow story, but more importantly I think, it's quite unnerving. I remember it was being quite, quite scary in a kind of sapphire and steel way, which is always a good thing. And it's set in a creepy house and it's got people who are husks, is it? Husks? Why do I remember husks? Probably because the word is husks. Yes, there's quite a lot of behind the scenes intrigue with this one. Um, and I'm sure we'll deal with that a little bit more when we get to the special features. It's a really weird story and I admire that muchly. And I'm looking forward it once again to, to taking another look at it. The third story in season 26 is uh, this one, The Curse of Fenric, and I know that this is a favourite of, of many people. Uh, I went to see the comedian Andrew O'Neill, the, the, the fantastic comedian Andrew O'Neill, a, a heavy metal slash occult slash Doctor Who loving comedian, and he managed to get a reference to The Curse of Fenric into his routine, so I think that, that underlines you know, the degree of love that a lot of people have for this serial, and I can remember really liking it because why wouldn't I? It's got these scary looking people emerging from the sea with really long fingernails, it's got these kind of hemovore creatures, and it's got Nicholas Parsons, scariest of all, as a priest. I mean, that's it, job done. But actually on top of that, The Curse of Fenric has one of my favourite all-time Doctor Who cliffhangers, now I think about it. The old guy, his eyes go green, and he says something that is just a beautiful, quintessential Doctor Who, something like, we meet again, Time Lord. And it's actually quite chilling. I think it's a genuinely creepy cliffhanger, which is great to see in the McCoy era, which I think a lot of people write off as being a lot of old, sort of colorful light entertainment. But, you know, there were some really pretty heavyweight moments and, and creepy moments in the McCoy era, and that's definitely one of them. So, here it is, the final story in uh, classic Doctor Who, which is uh, both sad and interesting and kind of momentous for the purposes of this box set. Interestingly, Survival started to introduce some of the more real elements that we'd see in the, the, the revived series when it came back in 2005. You know, I'm pretty sure there's a council estate involved and it just feels pretty real and, yeah, kind of reality-based. Not that Doctor Who hadn't done that before, obviously, but this possibly set into motion the kind of wheels that Russell T Davies would then keep turning in 2005 onwards. Not one of my favourite stories, as much as I love Anthony Ainley, um, I've never really liked this all that much, but I will watch it again and give it another go. You never know, sometimes as you get older you appreciate different stories in different ways, you appreciate them more or sometimes potentially less, but let's see. I mean this does have hail and pace in it, so that's unfortunate, but at the same time it does have the great Anthony Ainley in it, and I love Anthony Ainley. Uh, so I'm definitely up for it, even if it does have kind of furry characters riding around on horseback. And of course, there's no denying that this is a real piece of Doctor Who history, being the final 
uh, story. So what lurks within this Blu-ray box set in terms of special features? Well, the first thing to say is that there are several hours of the special features that are on these original DVDs. And that's one of the first things you want to know as a fan really, isn't it? When you're wondering whether to upgrade to the Blu-ray box set, are you gonna need to keep the DVDs or will most of the special features be on the Blu-ray? And it does seem that that's the case. It is the case. And so I'm not entirely sure, to be honest, whether every single thing from the DVDs gets ported over to the Blu-ray box sets. Does anyone know this? Because someone asked me in comments uh, the other week and I couldn't actually answer them because I wasn't sure. So if anyone knows whether literally everything gets put across, then get down there and let us know. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there are some extended and special editions from the VHS and DVD, uh, both of which are, are brought together on this set. So in terms of Battlefield, you've got the VHS extended edition, and then the special edition that was on the, on the DVD. That's like a feature length thing with brand new or reworked music from Mark Ayres, 5.1 sound and all that jazz. And the same is true with The Curse of Fenric, that there's also the VHS extended edition and the DVD special edition. So that's all really cool. So even though there are only four serials in this box set, uh, there are seven discs which tells you that each story has probably more stuff attached to it in this set than the average story might in some of the other box sets perhaps. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of stuff here. Speaking of 5.1 surround sound and isolated scores indeed, they're both present on all 14 of the broadcast episodes featured in this box set. There's a behind the sofa on this box set, which you'd hope for and expect. I very much like the behind the sofas. I think they're a lot of fun. They're like a, a select DVD audio commentary, but obviously visual. They're also very much like Gogglebox, aren't they? So you get people from old and new Doctor Who watching these shows shows and reacting for our entertainment and in this box set you've got Sylvester McCoy and Sophie Aldred as indeed you'd hope and then you've got Janet Fielding, Sarah Sutton and Annika Wills plus the Jodie Whittaker era writers Joy Wilkinson and Pete McTeague. Showman is the title of this documentary on this new set, a brand new documentary about the life of John Nathan Turner. So I'm very much looking forward to that, especially as the contributors to that documentary include Colin Baker and Peter Davison. Fenric fans rejoice because there's a brand new making of on this set. There's a whole host of talking heads on this thing, including Andrew Cartmel, obviously Sylvester McCoy, Sophie Aldred, Nicholas Parsons, hooray! And there's also unseen behind the scenes footage and photographs, nice. There's a nice in conversation piece in which Matthew Sweet interviews Sophie Aldred, that should be lovely. And then there's uh, one of my favourite features on these Blu-rays, the writer's room. Uh, it's great that when the writers are available, uh, the makers of these Blu-rays gets them together into a pub usually and gets them to quack on about writing, which is always a joy. And in this one, you've got Andrew Cartmel, Ben Aranovich, Mark Platt, Ian Briggs, he said, looking at the list off camera, did you see that? And Rona Munro, all talking about their work on season 26, so I can't wait to see that. Becoming the Destroyer is the title of another new documentary about the creation of the Destroyer, which features the actor Anton Marek and the prosthetics designer Stephen Mansfield, both of whom will talk about bringing the Destroyer to life. You'll also get the Blu-ray trailer, of course, which is on YouTube as we speak. I'll put a link to that down below so you can enjoy that. It's lovely to see Sophie Aldred back as Ace. But that's not it because Ghostlight fans are really in for a treat because there's a brand new Ghostlight work print. Now, as I understand it, the, the original serial was really edited down in order to make it suitable for 25 minute slots. And as a result, that probably accounts for, for the story's notoriously oblique nature. Some might say it doesn't make sense. I would never say that. I would never say that at all. Especially as I haven't actually watched it in a while. But there are those who say it doesn't make sense. And hopefully this work print might hold some of the answers to some of those questions that have arisen around ghost light. I'm going to look at the list on the screen now for all the other stuff. So you've got unseen studio footage, rear archive treats, convention footage, HD photo galleries, scripts, costume designs, rare BBC production files and other gems from 
our PDF archive. That's the BBC archive. That's not me referring to myself as our, just so you know. And lots more, it says. So there's even more. Fantastic. What are you waiting for? Get down there into the video description and pre-order it via the gift of Amazon. Marvellous then. Now, as I said, I really, really want you to get down in the comments and tell me how you feel about season 26 being the next Blu-ray box set. Obviously, after season 23, which is yet to come out, which comes out now on October the 7th, by the way. It's gone back a couple of weeks, that release date. And on top of that, I want to hear what your favourite story of season 26 would be. And of course, why? Why? Justify yourself to me. So I look forward to seeing you all down there. I'll come down for a chat and answer every comment whether you want me to or not. Actually, while you're down there, check out the video description as well, where I'll put a link to my Doctor Who playlist. Right, thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, embrace your obsession. <laughs>